Welcome to Forest Fet. Thank you so much for joining us in this annual celebration of forests and forest communities. The theme of Forest Fet 2021 is indeed reweaving forests and forest communities. And we're speaking about forests across time and space and the communities that forests bring together over time and space. I'm standing on the ancestral lands of the coastal Miwok who created a legacy for these generations. And thanks to my ancestors, it's been conserved for future generations. It is my hope and it is the goal for all of us at Pacific Forest Trust. The future generations will look at us as ancestors who have left a legacy of conserved and well-managed forests so that they may have the cool water, the clean air, the abundant wildlife, the range of wonderful wood products, and the wonder and awe that we have today from our forests. And that is the community across time. It is a community to support forests now and in the future. There's also a community of space that forests hold together. Behind me is the mighty Pacific Ocean, where San Francisco Bay comes out to greet it. The waters of San Francisco Bay originate on the sides of Mount Shasta, Mount Lassen, in the forests of the Trinity Mountains and the Northern Sierra. Those forests there collect the water as rain and snow, transport it into creeks and streams and rivers that join with the Sacramento River and rush down into San Francisco Bay, making this the greatest estuary on the West Coast and providing drinking water to 30 million Californians all the way as far south as San Diego and sustaining the vital economy of California's agricultural production. And that is how forests weave us together as a community across space. We've been talking over the past several decades about the climate change crisis and what we must do to avert the worst of that crisis. I suspect all of us as children, at some point or other, heard a voice say, now means now. And the meaning was clear. I need you to do what I need you to do now. In the climate crisis, now does mean now. In these next 10 years, we need to change the trajectory of what we are doing so that we are taking more CO2 out of the atmosphere than we are putting into the atmosphere. And the only known way to do that is through the power of forests. The transformation that we need to undertake in how we manage forests and how we value forests is the same kind of transformation as we are doing in the energy and transportation sectors. And it will take the same scale of investment to do that. There are proven tools that we can support to do this, such as conservation easements, which Pacific Forest Trust uses in working with landowners. And there's a broad community of landowners who want to join in that stewardship and conservation so essential to creating a safe climate and a good future. You'll hear tonight from two landowners who have worked with the Pacific Forest Trust to steward and conserve their lands and indeed who've done this with a family covering now seven and more generations and another who's done it for the community at large. We've been able at Pacific Forest Trust and we are proud to have helped create a carbon market that pays landowners to produce the commodity of carbon along with the commodity of timber. Pacific Forest Trust believes in making it easier to do good things and in creating the economies and market forces that support doing good things. Now it's time for all of us to pull together and create the solutions that will carry us through the climate crisis. We need you. You are part of this forest community. And if you sustain this community, forests will in turn support you. Thank you for being part of the Pacific Forest Trust. Thank you for supporting us. Together, we will make the difference that we must make 
because now means now.